running along the wagon way in the beautiful Tyne Valley, just west of Newcastle upon Tyne. In this direction we're going, it heads towards Wylam. But we're not actually going to go that far today. No, today I want to take you up my favourite hill. You're in for a treat. Okay, so this is where we leave the wagon where we're about to turn right and go through the farm onto Station Road. This used to be a railway line that we're walking on, uh, running on, sorry, and uh, I guess there was a station here. This goes up to Hezen on the Wall. very agricultural around here uh, but now we can see Hedden up the hill uh, with Hedden Hall which we'll be going past and this is the flat before we actually start gaining any altitude so there's Hedden Hall up on the hillside it's got lovely views beautiful location uh, facing south over the, the river Tyne well this is the beginning of it this is where we start heading uphill I have a number of different techniques for running uphill that I employ most of the time. Occasionally I don't, obviously, but the first one is to run it in stages and it's almost like, well, you'll see, see the corner, and run to the corner. So it's giving myself little milestones, little markers to achieve and then set the next one. So taking it in a small chunks, if you like. So this is the first corner, it's quite steep here. The second technique is to take shorter steps because it shares a lift of all my body weight across two legs instead of one if you take a long stride. Obviously this is just what works for me and I'm sure most people have their own way of looking at it. Yep, walking. <laughs> the third technique is, especially on steeper hills, is go up onto the toes, onto the balls of my feet. Uh, I like to think of my Achilles tendon like a big thick rubber band. And so by doing that, going up on the toes, I feel like I can almost spring up the hill. <laughs> Again, mind over matter. Here's the next milestone. That's the hardest parts out of the way. It's not quite so steep now, but we're actually only about halfway up. It's a bit gentler. Although gentle is a relative term in this case. <laughs> How are you feeling, Lou? I'm getting there. Well done. Just keep going. I'm feeling all right. Good. Breathing's a bit erratic. Yeah. But well, that's, that's the other thing, isn't it? Don't think about running. Concentrate on your breathing. There's over a hundred meters of scent in this one. I love seeing the gorse coming out and the smell of coconut that you get from it. Obviously this isn't smell of vision otherwise you'd be getting that too. Oh lovely. And this is where we get the reward. Look at that view. Snow on the hills over there. We don't always do it, but this is a really good place for a well-earned rest. So we're not all the way up, but that's the main part of what most people would call Station Road. Do the rest in a minute. But in the meantime, let's just savour the view. Well, 
Well, I enjoyed that so much. I'm going to run down and do it again. Great. It's not often to do it twice. I thoroughly enjoyed it, but it's really great when it's over. That's the best part. So let's carry on. Let's run again, shall we? Absolutely. Off we go. Come on. <laughs> We're now into the village of Hedden on the Wall. It used to be called Hedden, just Hedden, before the wall was built, I guess. Or maybe because there's not much of the wall left. They wanted to make sure that everyone knew it had been on the wall. So the bit we did before was the Strava segment. We're very nearly at the absolute top. Yes! We made it! Woo! Nearly there, Lou. Oh, well done. So there you have it, my favourite hill, Station Road, which goes from the farm by the wagonway close to the River Tyne, right the way up the hill, past Hedden Hall, into Hedden on the Wall, in the county of Northumberland. It's wonderful, especially on a lovely day like this. Good morning from the Costa Blanca. Just thought I'd jump on to give you a quick panoramic of the incredible views. It's another blue sky day here. It's half past eight and it's about 20 degrees. So it's incredible, absolutely incredible. It's the Mediterranean down there. We've just run under the, the main road from Alicante and now we're hitting the trail we're going to head up to Alcantara. So these are 360 of the absolutely incredible trails that we have here on the Costa Blanca. These markers, these are all over the Costa Blanca. They're done by a company called Terra Firma, uh, my neighbour, and basically he goes all over the mountains on main tracks, paths, single roads, single tracks, or I should say Camino centers, and he marks them. There's various different colors all over Spain. Uh, <coughs> so if you ever come out here and you see these, you know you're, you're heading in the right direction. Okay, let's go. I don't often take this track. Uh, no reason why, just don't often take it. I'm aiming to get at least 3,000 meters elevation every week. Nearly there. So if you'd like to come and explore Push Campana or Monte Panoch or some of the other incredible trails that we've got here on the Costa Blanca, drop us a message, uh, ping us something on Facebook, we'll get in touch with you and we'll organise an ultimate trail adventure just for you. And it's what, 10 o'clock? Something like that, 9.30, it's 21, 22 degrees. Uh, we're in shorts, t-shirt, uh, it's just incredible. Uh, so yeah, yeah that's I was going to say about the open water. The open water swimming in yeah. Benidorm Island, yeah, yeah absolutely. From the island to the, um, to 
the coast yeah. is about four kilometers. Four kilometers. So we take a boat and we go to the island and then we have to swim back. Mm. Yeah, which is great fun for somebody who's not a brilliant swimmer. But listen, it is just incredible here for trail running, cycling, road running, swimming. It's incredible. And we can do it all with Ultimate Trail, or you can do it all with Ultimate Trail Adventures.